Hello, ma. How are you? Fine, sir. Yes, I'm Stephen Lansen, a journalist of Premier News. I'm doing a Vox Pop on posting sleeping at Bini's. I don't know for what I'm posting, but for me, I know they know. I just believe you say the more the God will make me, I make it. They need for take care of them because some society the way he rejects them. There's some people who okay. reject them. Okay. There's some society people who okay, say the God will make them, the God will make we, we the blacks, not to make them. So they need for do something for them. But they need for something good way to make their self feel belong. Say, we all know one. To my knowledge, I think uh, albinism is a, a disorder that is caused by a pigment called melanin, which can affect the skin, the eyes, in the color, in the coloration of the entire system of the body. They are purely white. Everything about them is white. The eyes, the air, everything about them is white. I can remember, uh, it was during the war. I was in Lungi when I was a kid. I met an Albinism child and automatically we became afraid. My grandmother used to tell me to say this type of people they are not human to say they came like they are having spiritual beliefs over them to say they are devilish people so that's why we used to be afraid of them when we whenever we come across them government only needs to encourage these people telling the people not to stigmatize them in other programs not to cause any problem to them like uh, to be afraid of them that we are all the same we are all humans even if when he's not having the same color with us or he's having a different color, but we are still the same. Yeah, he's carrying the same name, surname and the likes. All of us are Sierrinians, so we can still accept each and everyone. And uh, most of the, uh, the albinos in this country yeah. have, been, uh, have, been, uh, have been stigmatized, they are discriminated. But that was the time I was, uh, that was 2015 population on housing census. And we, I was one of the admirators and um, interviewing one of the albinos and um, one of the admirators told me that um, they, are not, they, they, are not, they, they are not happy about this color. So even though they are not happy about this color, they, they can do what, 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 what they like in that, in, that, in, in, in that very way. People used to say, they say they are not created by God, they are just, they are just um, they are just created by witchcraft. Most of the that, that's most of the superstitious beliefs of the people. So most people say most most of them say they are not they are not created by God. Mm -hmm. They are created by God. Some of them they are just they are just from from um, from nowhere. That was the superstitious beliefs of the of other people. So other people said they are not they are just they are, they are created by God. It was just the what God, God just created them. That, that, that is their own color. That is their own race. Okay. So most of the people most of the people do stigmatize them. Do dismiss them against against this color. One of the measures in place that you put is to make sure that in education, most especially in education aspects, because most of the people when they go to school, they used to they used to they used to they used to, they used to provoke them that they are not they are not they are not black people, neither white people. So the measure, the government should make sure that uh, they put all the measures in place so that. This this problem this problem of uh, this is a stigmatization must be put on hold. They the need for for empower them because like if they need among some people, some people they free them, some man are coming with them because some of them can get that black spot, some of their skin not can wait in. So the need for make that we all see ourselves as one. Okay, so what do you think that we also need for do for helping people to ensure that we will live a better life? Mm, now for become friends with them. So what do you self need for do for, for them so? We need to mingle with them, okay. make them friends so that they don't go feel, they go feel somehow say they belong. Okay. Sometimes we see some of our colleagues are you know, doing discriminations, you know, because of their colors, you know, because the way God needs them. But that doesn't matter, we are all human beings, yeah. God may have to take care of them. Okay, so what do you think you need to do for them? 
Um, yeah, or people generally. Actually, people need to help them. You see, need to help them. If some of them need education, you need to help them, educate them, put them into good schools. Yeah, okay. Provide the necessary necessity for them. Yeah, albinism, I think, is a medical condition affecting people in which their skin become lighter and is much not more resistible to the rays of the sun. But when the sun comes, it started getting some kind of rash. I used to normally have the wrong perception that, as our people used to tell us that, mm. it is a spiritual condition. But I came to realize that it is not a spiritual condition, it's a medical condition. I think it's a biological condition that somehow some cells when missing during the period of birth, yeah. that is what leads to that condition. Okay. So all I can say is that it's a medical condition, not yeah. a spiritual condition. been with somebody living with Albino since I was in class one we were together his name was Gen his name is Genda Lebi <laughs> initially because I was young I don't know things about witches and witchcraft so I was not afraid of him but there come a time when we used to hear this issue of them being spiritually somehow they, they are not they are not natural they are spiritual people like they don't die the, the descent to 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 to, to, to the after, so I started becoming afraid of him. But he's a kind guy. I think the government needs to provide for them. There is something that is that is a cream. There's a medication that is capable of them being resistible from the sun because their skin. I like the skin. The skin is very beautiful. When a child is with albino, you will see how beautiful his skin is. But as the moment they started exposing themselves to the sun, the skin cannot resist to the rays of the sun. And they started producing some kind of rashes on their skin. So I think the government should make somehow to make those creams and those medications available for them. And they have been kind for that. Also the issue of stigmatization. They have been kind that they should not be called albinos. That itself is stigma. They should be called people with albino yeah. so that inform that message needs to be made well known and for them to be accepted we are all one we are the same it's just a medical condition not a spiritual condition we need to know that and when we understand that we can accept them when you treat somebody equally as you are as you treat yourself yeah. he will he will feel lively as it is said in the Bible and Quran that do unto others what you may want them to do unto you. So let's just accept them. Let's not see them as spiritual people or as different people. Let them not be discriminated in terms of job opportunity. Let them not be discriminated in terms of relationship like marriage. Let them not be discriminated in the political arena. Let an albino not come and say, I want to aspire for this position just for the mere fact that he's an albino, he's been discriminated. Hello. Yeah, how are you, sir? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm a journalist of Premier News. I'm doing a vox pop on posting slippery to albinism. At the age of four to five, when I saw a lady who, who was an albino at that time, I ran and started shouting, Mom, 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 Mom. I thought it was something different. Um, albinos, they do not demise. What do you mean? Well, I meant demise in the sense that they do not die. They just disappear into thin air. So that is the mythical truth we do all for people with albinism. So what should people do to help those living with albinism have an easier life? Well, they should find avenues to incorporate them in society other than distancing them, you know, because they are human beings just as us. So I think people in society should ensure that albinos live a life worth living. 
and they live with them. They live with them. Yeah. Okay. Good. And uh, three. You yeah, live with three people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So you know, take it cause that. I not can tell. For let them be the admin or what? Yes. For let them be. And you know, you don't think it and The only thing we make sense for that. Yes. The daddy in color and like ginger like. Because most of them are down there at the sea. Okay. So, but then now uh, when they burn, a black rain they burn. You know, easy let them burn the color. Okay. Because we don't grow up with them, so I know small things because what they see. I went to know now the chop. Not wait till I know now. Yes. It don't pass. It don't pass twenty. It don't pass thirty years. Yeah, it don't mean a lot more than. Yes. So you remember the first thing we see. So what's gonna be you? What's gonna be you reaction? Me reaction because I don't, they don't bond we all together. So I don't I don't get no reaction because I don't know say now this it belong to. You be afraid or what? Not at all. Okay, so you don't you can hear about any superstitious belief or people or thing that people can say about them? I can hear you, but I lie. I need to pay attention to them because some they discriminate between we, we get the normal color yeah. when are black with them. Some they discriminate when not to understand them. We never discriminate, we all now one. Now the color look different. Mm -hmm. But at the same life we all follow.